Hey guys, not that long ago Google added the way to add its weather shortcut on the home screen. But as you've probably noticed, not all of you are able to do that. And it's because not everyone's Google account was qualified to have this feature. Basically it's still a kind of a beta feature, which is available only to some handful of people at this point. Presumably at some point it will be available to everybody, but for now I will show you a workaround which will trick the Google into thinking that your account is qualified to have this feature. So follow these steps and you will have that shortcut on your home screen. So let's go on verify now to make sure that I have one of those Google accounts which are not qualified to add that icon. If you go to Google app, uh, type weather or simply open the weather card from the Google app. Uh, when opens the card, expand it from down below with that arrow and slide from the left and you will see that you cannot add any shortcut from there. It's the place where usually you would be able to add a shortcut if you are qualified. Now let me show you what to do. Go to settings. Go to the section for date and time and disable the automatic uh, date and time and automatic time zone. Now we should set the date manually. Go set date and scroll through months until you go till the end. In my case it goes until December 2037. Make sure to pick the 31st, the last day of the month and press OK. Make sure the set date says December 31st 2037. Now go to the Google app Okay, once it loaded, simply you should load that Google Weather card. And once it does, expand it with that arrow down below. Once it's expanded, swipe from the left, and there it is add to home screen. You will see the option present. And there, it, and there the shortcut. Now you have the shortcut. This option will still remain in your phone for a while but at some point Google will realize that uh, your account is not actually qualified for this and it will uh, automatically disable it. So make sure to add that icon there and if some other time after you reset the phone you're gonna need to re-edit again just follow this tutorial all over again.